What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, thank you for bearing with me since I've been gone for so long. It's been about three weeks since my last video, if you're counting. Um, that's longer than I usually go, but, you know, things have been hectic lately. I've had some school I'm finishing up. I've actually got a final to take here in a couple days to finish out this term. Uh, so just kind of been busy doing that. Um, also, I've been, uh, you know, busy with other stuff in life that uh, doesn't involve sitting behind my computer. So uh, thanks for sticking around, though. Um, I want to say thank you for um, all the sub new subscribers out there. Um, I did cross the 5,000 subscriber mark last week. Um, and yeah, we just continue to grow. So thank you very much for your uh, support and for helping my channel grow and checking it out. So let's go ahead and get into today's video. I got a couple things I want to just talk about today and I'm going to show off kind of what I got going on on my new system. Um, but first off, um, I am out of Debian. Um, I was in Debian 12 for over a month um, living in it and I'm going to use this to segue into the next section of the video and that is I enjoyed Debian. My thoughts on Debian are pretty basic, and that is it's a great distribution. It's just another distribution. Um, there's a lot of new stuff with it as far as the non-free software or the non-free uh, firmware being included in the ISO now. Um, so that way you have Wi-Fi out of the box, which is great. Um, it's a super stable distribution. If you want to be able to install a operating system on your computer and just have it work, uh, Debian is the way to go. Uh, their website website still sucks, but you know, such is life. Um, so downloading and installing and getting Debian up and going was a pretty painless process. Um, and so, yeah, if you're looking for something that's just rock solid and stable, there's a reason Debian is so popular and there's so many distributions built on it. And that is because it is a great distribution. Um, one of the downsides to Debian is even though you've got the new uh, software and stuff on it, um, you're going to be living on that for the next couple of years. Um, they don't don't do uh, rolling release obviously like uh, Arch and Void and some of these other distributions um, they are stable and that's why they're stable is they don't just let anything come through it's uh, everything's got to be tested and verified and so um, I say that's a downside because it's a downside for a guy like me who likes to use his system to actually check out the latest and greatest. Um, when I'm running this channel, uh, I like to be able to check out certain programs, new builds by people, just anything I can get my hands on. And I tried that on a, for a couple of things on Debian and I just couldn't get them to build. Um, does that mean they wouldn't build if I spent enough time on them? Probably not. I probably could have got them up and going, maybe, but um, it just wasn't worth the time to me. So that being said, that leads me into a second portion of it, which is my time in Debian was extremely boring. I'm sorry to all you Debian fans. I'm not saying it's a bad distribution. I, it was a great distribution. Um, but that goes without saying. The reason um, my time in NixOS wasn't boring was because that was kind of a whole new... Um, a whole new beast, I guess. It was just something I'd never seen before, something I'd never done before. It was a whole new way of doing things for me. So it was, it was cool to learn that stuff. But... Um, I'm, I'm using this to segue into this next section here, and that is my whole challenge thing I think is up. Um, I know I was going to do NixOS and then Debian and then Artix, um, and then I had Gentoo in there, and I had B, uh, BSD was going to be coming up. Um, and it was this challenge to just live in one single solitary distro with one window manager. And I got to tell you, it... I was so bored. Um, it made it not enjoyable to use my system anymore. Uh, part of the reason I love using Linux and part of the reason I love doing this channel is because I get to check out so much cool stuff. And when I pigeonholed myself to one distribution um, and one window manager, it was just like, this is so unbelievably monotonous and boring. Um, I don't, you know, have anything to say. This part of the reason my videos were getting so sparse is because I was just like in this spot where I was like, I don't even want to do this anymore. Um, I enjoy my channel. I enjoy making my videos, but when I pigeonholed myself into that, I just realized this isn't enjoyable for me. So we're taking the channel back to where it used to be. Um, and who cares if following the guidelines and following the uh, same uh, playbook that the big channels are doing, um, I, I'm just not doing it. Um, I, that's part of the reason I did this challenge was because I see some of these larger channels, they take on stuff like this and they do little things like, and I'm just trying, I'm just getting away from the gimmicky stuff. Um, if my channel suffers and doesn't grow because of that, that's fine. I, I, I just want to enjoy what I'm doing. So I'm going to get back to the stuff that I like doing, the bash scripting, the customizing my window managers, checking out new window managers, checking out new programs, building my system. I'm going to be doing some coding in there now, now that I'm in school and taking this stuff. I'm going to be showing just, just the stuff I enjoy doing. So this is kind of what we're going to get my channel back to. Um, and if it suffers for that, great. Um, no big deal. At least I'll enjoy doing it. And if it grows, even better. 
So that being said, uh, I will say I am in Ardix Linux. Um, I did actually uh, install Ardix and start working on it. And you know, I forgot how much I loved Arch-based distributions. Um, I did make that video a while ago that says Ardix Linux would be home if Void wasn't, and that still stands true today. Um, this is my system right here, what you're looking at. Um, it is Ardix, and I was gonna do DK, which I do have installed. Um, Nate Maya, or whatever, I can't pronounce his name the greatest, so I hope I don't butcher that, but Nate Maya does a great job. DK is still by far on my top five window manager list now. Um, and I do have it on, on this as well, but right now I've been goofing around with Hyperland. So if we zoom in, um, you can see my window animations from Hyperland are in there. Um, I've got uh, Waybar up at the top here running with a couple different modules. Um, I actually built my own fetch tool. Um, actually kind of revamped my fetch tool. I made my own logo out of uh, JP2A, uh, which is a JPEG to ASCII art creator tool. Um, and then I have this script right here, which I've had for a while. It's on my GitHub, but I kind of did a little playing with it and updating it. And it basically just pulls some information um, and runs to display here. So I don't have the whole big NeoFetch mess going on, but uh, it kind of lifts what uh, distribution you're using, what init system it has, the shell release you're on, and how many packages I have and how many updates are available. Now you might notice right here, the updates here doesn't match the updates up in the corner here. That's because this update up here just checks Pac-Man, whereas this one checks Pac-Man and AUR updates. So I do have to fix this module up here to actually match the one down here so my system is uh, cohesive. But um, yeah, that's kind of what we got going on. This is my new setup. It's Hyperland. Um, I'm really enjoying it actually. Um, and I am still learning with it. So I won't say that uh, I am an expert by any means. I got a long ways to go before that happens. Um, but they did a great job on this window manager. It's really cool. Um, I'm thoroughly enjoying it. So that being said, to recap this video, one, Debian 12 was a great distribution. I enjoyed it. It's rock solid. It is not for me, though. It is um, not something that I can get on and just test everything I want and play around and do whatever I want on. Um, so if you want something solid and stable, then yeah, Debian, by all means, is the way to go. Two, um, I'm getting this channel back to what it used to be, um, doing some shell scripting, doing just goofing around, learning new things with you, playing with new tools, um, checking out different commands in the, in the terminal, um, just getting back to the nitty gritty and actually understanding how your system works and then doing some playful stuff like uh, customizations and configurations and things like that. And then three, um, I am on Ardix right now, uh, but what I will say I do have uh, void getting set back up on another partition. So I'm going to keep a main partition that's going to be void. Um, I love void. I'm getting back to it, but I think I'm going to start doing a little bit more in some other distributions as well on different partitions. So that way we can check them all out. So that's what I got going on. That's what I've been up to. Sorry I've been so long since I've had a video out, um, but we're going to try and get back in the swing of things here as soon as this term is up. So thanks for bearing with me. Thanks for being patient with me. Thanks again for bumping me over 5,000 subscribers. If you aren't a subscriber and you want to help out, please, by all means, like, subscribe, share, whatever you got to do. Um, and yeah, there's also channel memberships available if you want to uh, become a member and uh, help me out that way. I by no means uh, require it. Um, nothing that I do is under a paywall. So anything that goes on this channel is available to everybody. Don't think that you got to pay to get any of it because that's not the case. Um, those that want to have the membership, um, I'm just letting you know, it's just kind of one of those things that if you feel so led to help out and support the channel, then great by all means. Uh, so that being said, um, yeah, hope you guys have a great rest of your day, great rest of your week and stay safe. God bless.